What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome back to Civilization V as England. In the previous part, we sort of fleshing on our army a bit because the Huns are right on our doorstep. They settled the city of Guzana. Apparently there is a massive amount of food, which I don't know about. And for some reason, it actually sort of grown really, really quickly. I don't know how that's possible. Unless they have a... Um, a tray route going over there. Only then could I see that being possible. Either way, they're on our doorstep. Uh, we're preparing for war. And when they actually started showing up with their army over here, we decided it might be best to um, use Ashurbanipal or Ashurbanipal, whatever. Uh, he's my pal, though, in this game, so maybe it is appropriate. Uh, we decided to use him as sort of a shield and we bribe the Huns to declare war on them. So there is a war going on over there. Um, at the same time, we adopted Petronage and we decided to get some uh, some city state buddies. We've got Colombo, we've got Almaty in our pocket. Uh, they will not be our buddies for much, much longer, but at least they are my buddies. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're looking, we're looking all right ish. Uh, all right. So fingers crossed that the Huns will be fine with fighting Ashurbanipal. Uh, if they just fight Assyria and they leave me alone, then that means we're good. And if they decide that they want to murder me, then we might not be so good at all. Uh, so we're just going to see what happens. We're saving up for a university as well. Ethiopia and Morocco are out of the game. And with them gone, we are now the suckiest person. Okay, we were the suckiest person in terms of science, but we, we're catching up in some regards. Uh, our army is apparently still the smallest in the game. I don't know how that's possible. We have been working on our army for a while now. Uh, we've got a lot of troops. We're spending a lot of money on this army, but apparently it's still not enough. So I don't really know what else to do. All right. So what we're doing is we're saving up for the university over in York. And all right, they've grown. It's good for you guys. That's bad tile. Do not work these. Uh, workshop. Why would we ever work this instead of that? Uh, well, okay. I guess that. Work the sheep. All right. Just work the sheep. Uh, all right. So growth in York is not looking great. They do have access to some fishies, but at the same time, we're, they are working these tiles, uh, which are giving us some faith and culture and a lot of money but not a lot of food, so they do need some food. Uh, that's very, very clear to me now. All right, let's get you guys ready. I'm gonna send this uh, worker over to Nottingham so that he can get some farms here, and make sure that this city grows basically as soon as possible. We want this city to get big uh, because obviously, you know, also the bigger it is, uh, they're gonna be able to do more in terms of production and also they're gonna be tougher to take by the, the Huns. Uh, and that is pretty much the extent of what is going on right now. All right, Sensibar doesn't need investors. All right, let's move you. Uh, we are paying a pretty significant amount of money, actually, to um, the Huns to go to, to go to war. We're giving them, here we go, 16 gold per turn and three horses for them to declare war. So hopefully this will be over soon. It'll be a while, but I just hope that ultimately, I just hope it was worth it to uh, to bribe them to do this. Because if I wasted my money on this, I'm not very happy. And basically, we're just trying to keep them distracted. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then we're wasting money. And if he does declare war on me, we'll get our money back every turn. And that's all right. He's acting as if he's friendly, but we know that he's really not. And also, we actually, we met Egypt and uh, Siam, who are over in Ireland. And they're just hanging out there. There's nobody else on that island, so it's not really fair. All right, we got another prophet. Let's enhance our religion. All right, let's see. Amphitheaters provide one faith. That's actually pretty bad. Do I want faster growth rate, or do I need more... Production. I'm going to go with the growth rate, actually. Seems like a decent idea. Uh, let's go with religion spreads faster or profits are stronger and earned with less. 
Defender of the Faith could be pretty good. But I'm not really sure. Religion spreads. Let's just go with spreads faster. I feel like the um, defense thing is basically useless unless you're at war. And we're not really planning on, you know, going to war for that long. In fact, we're not even planning on going to war at all. Uh, Alright, you're good. Let's get you out there. So this is basically the way things are looking. We've got four archers. We've got four melee units and a horseman. And we're going to need... We have one more... Actually, we have one more melee unit. We've got one more longbowman in the mix. And uh, we'll, we probably have to get one more uh, longbowman. And that should, I think, give us the army that we need to defend our stuff effectively. Uh, fingers crossed for that. Alright, compass is done. That's great. Let's get you out there. We've got the longbowman now, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, get that marble. Alright, you go here. Uh, Alright, looking good. Oh, one more turn. Alright, so after that turn is over... Uh, we're gonna go ahead... Alright, let's get steel so we can upgrade the swordsman. Uh, we're gonna get another cargo ship. Just for that sweet, sweet money. Alright, let's get a library over in Nottingham. Alright, do I want to buy a university or should I just make one? Eight turns is pretty... Pretty reasonable, if you ask me. Let's see, do we... I'm not really sure if I want to stop one of these. Eh. Might not be bad. Just to, just to say goodbye to these for now. Uh, just to get that growth to a better level. At the same time... Alright, let's go with this for now. Nine turns for the... Eight turns. Is there any way to speed this up? Eight as well. Alright, just go with that. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna, I changed my mind. Again, we're gonna we're gonna take one extra turn to get the university, but we're gonna grow uh, York. All we really need to do here is actually Nope, we mean no harm. And that's actually the truth this time. I think this might be the first time that I'm not lying to this dude. Also, actually pretty interesting that he asked me this when I'm not even right next to his, um, his land. But alright, no, actually I don't want to, to fight him. Alright, Longbowman is done. Let's get you out there, buddy. Dr. Gray has been promoted. The Hunt stole Compass. And we're gonna get one free technology, either physics or chivalry. Normally I would go with chivalry because I do want to upgrade my horsemen, but at the same time... Getting physics is going to give us access to gunpowder, and having musket man over longswordsman could be uh, pretty valuable. And again, banking, I don't really know. Let's go with physics. Let's just get that for free. All right, you're good. All right, let's get you guys out there. Let's just start upgrading these so that they actually are ready for war. All right. And our army is still terrible, apparently. Don't ask me why or how that is possible. Let's get a harbor in the capital. All right, and we'll save up our money and we'll actually just buy the university over in Nottingham. Because it's going to take them forever to actually make one. He's got a trebuchet. How in the world am I supposed to believe that this guy's friendly? Asher Benipal is walking around with warriors and composite bowmen still. What is he doing? No longer the ally of Colombo. Okay. We gotta give him something. Um, all right, give him some, give him some money. I want them to remain my ally. Um, also, we should probably do this to speed up the production of that library. Their growth is already pretty good, and all right, all right. Let's get you over there. London's grown. All right, let's get you over there. They're now working this. Go to the university. Let's get let's get a scientist. We don't have one yet. We should probably get one. All right, Columbo's my bud. I'm still really really scared of the Huns. They do not have the biggest army, and Ashurbanipal is really lagging behind here. I feel kind of sorry for him because he's he's been nice this game. 
He's been a good friend, but I'm not sure what he's doing wrong. Well, I guess, okay, his technology must be really, really bad. He's got a bunch of warriors. We just got a trebuchet from Almaty. Not really what I was after, but I can, you know, I can just get that guy and, and put him to work, sure. York is looking good once again, uh, growth-wise, at least for now. All right, let's go with this. Let's get you over there, buddy. But again, our army is still too weak. But we are sort of in the mix here. We are in the lower portion of the game uh, in terms of, you know... Oh, here we go. In terms of, uh, you know, what we're doing. Performance. In terms of performance, we are sort of in the lower half of the game. But, all right, after the harbor, we are making this cargo ship so that we have uh, the, the full range available. And hopefully we can trade with what I was thinking was maybe Egypt. Um, I'm sure that that will get me a lot of money and potentially a lot of science as well. They're not the leader. That would be Siam right now. Um, but it would be cool if we could still get some some free science by trading. All right, let's go, bud. I should have gone this way. I'm just wasting one turn, but that's okay. It's not the biggest deal. All right. Keep it going. All right, so our army is not the smallest anymore, and I feel like we might be able to put up a fight against the Huns. Um, we're not going to be able to destroy them, but at the same... All right, let's keep that up for that sweet mono, but at the same time, uh, I'm pretty sure the Huns will not be able to just simply trample all over me. We've got a decent army, and then also Singapore. Where did I meet these guys then? What, how did I meet them? Oh, they're... Okay, yep, all right. Let's cut down some more forests uh, this way. All right, we basically... Well, we don't really need this right now. Let's get someone in the workshop. All right, yep. All right, so over in the capital, we'll get that cargo ship that I was talking about. We're sending this guy over there. All right, you join your friends. We are about to get steel. Uh, I'm not sure how much it will cost me to upgrade my... Um, all right, let's see. I'm not sure how much it will cost me to upgrade a swordsman, but I'm hoping that it's around like 50, 60 gold. It's probably going to be 100 again. Uh, sure. Sure. All right, he's still somewhat all right. He's trading wine with me. And I'm pretty positive that he is going after uh, a sir. He's going with a longswordsman up against a warrior. What's he doing? Oh, my God. He's sending a warrior out there for no reason. For just absolutely no reason. That's it. A sir is going to fall. And it's going to happen real soon. All right, get a farm. 100 gold. Pretty much exactly what I expected. All right, let's see. All right, this one has two upgrades, so he gets the first uh, first upgrade to, to Longswordsman. All right, so Gunpowder or Chivalry first. I'm not really sure. Scientific Theory. All right, let's start with Chivalry then so we can upgrade the Swordsman or the, the Horseman because right now he's pretty horrible. And getting an upgrade to Knight would make him slightly better. All right, let's go. We have a lot of archers right now. Uh, but that's good. All right, let's get this rider. Nottingham is marble. Uh, I know. That's cool, though. Uh, sure, I will trade it with you, but... No, wait, I don't want to trade it with him because he's kind of a jerk. And he's just going to make as many wonders as he can. He already has, you know, a boost to be able... Uh, to, to, you know, building, really, you're in the middle of a war and you want to buy my marble. You know what? That's cool. Let's do it. Let's do it, you jackass. See what happens. You should be spending your money on making troops. Almaty wants Columbo bullied. They're both my buddies. I will not be bullying anybody. All right, Colum or Almaty. That's not nice of you. All right, let's get another piece of writing. All right, that's that's great. I love that. That's so well written. Um, all right, Siam is doing pretty good. He is going after tourism a little bit. I wouldn't say that that is um, that would be his preferred victory, but he seems to be going after it. 
a little bit. All right, let's go over there. All right, Nottingham has grown. That is a good tile, to be fair, and I don't want to give that up, so let's go. Yeah, let's... Come on, that's a good tile. All right, let's even it out a little bit there. Zulu just found their religion. I'm not sure how or why. I guess nobody else really uh, wanted one. Because Sir doesn't have a religion. The Huns don't have a religion. They do have a religion. Oh, what? Okay, uh, so apparently they took... Marrakesh did not have a religion, I believe. All right, these dudes have a religion. They have a religion. I have a religion. All right. Uh, you know what? Whatever. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do, man. I'm just here to get my cargo ship and get some money and make bank. I'm just worried for the day that the Huns are going to have the biggest army. And this might actually be a good time to ask. Look at all these long swordsmen, man. He's just showing off at this point how many troops he actually has. He's just trying to act all cool. All right, let's go. All right, let's get a farm over here. You can hang out and just, you know, whatever, relax or something like that. I don't, I don't know what you guys do for fun. We are military guys. All right, here we go. So we've got five longbowmen. Honestly, I would prefer more, but it would be so, so many of them. 20 production for York, but they already have a university, so that doesn't help me at all. Uh, this game is not going as well as I had hoped that it would. Egypt is the least amount of land. What? That's pretty nuts. Okay. Normally, that guy's all crazy. Look at this. I mean, the Assyrian's army is going to be murdered to death real easily. All I see is just outdated troops, mostly. All right, cargo ship. All right, we could send food to York, but we need we need money. All right, so we are going to trade with... Do we want to trade with Assyria? That city's going to fall. All right, let's see. Ragusa. Let's trade with Ragusa. It's only a little bit less money. And, all right, Nimrod, Almaty. Sure, trade with Nimrod. Let's do it. All right, this guy, trade with... I guess we're just going to have to go with Almaty here. Because I'm pretty sure that Assur will fall, and I'm not sure what happens to the cargo ship. Uh, you know what? Let's let's test it then. Let's test it. Let's check this out. If Assur falls, do we lose a cargo ship? That'll be our our thing to uh, to check out for the day. Uh, let's see a harbor. Let's connect you to the capital and get some sweet money from this. Gallius, long swordsman, workboat, water mill. I. Garden, I guess. We should really get a garden. Just get get some more great people. Uh, because soon we're going to use the great scientist, obviously. And we're going to try to generate some more, you know, great people. But we have 100 science per turn right now, which is not good, actually. That's quite low. Trade route established for Ragusa. No longer the buddy of Almaty. Now we have to bribe them as well. Which I can't do right now because I don't have that much money. All right, don't. Don't work that. Don't do that. Go work in the market then. We'll get a merchant. We'll get some money. Uh, all right. So Ruggis is quite happy. Almaty is not happy. Ruggis is just giving us some food. So I don't really care that much about having them as an ally. Uh, I would gain incense. But aside from that, there isn't that much. That oh, God. He's got musket man already. We don't. And he upgraded all of them without really... Okay. I, I have a bad feeling about this. Let's get you over there. Let's get you over here. And right, let's get you into friendly territory. All right, so you go there. This guy move over here. All right, we're just going full on defensive maneuvers. And just fingers crossed that we can get musket men ourselves or they will have a, a good edge over us in combat. And I feel like he is going to declare war soon. Uh, he's fighting a Sir, but he will probably realize that it's not really going to cost him that much trouble to take him out. And when he does realize that, he might be willing 
uh, to wage two wars at once, which would be very bad for us. Because that will eventually lead to us dying. All right, chivalry, renaissance era. Andrew was promoted, or spy there. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's get you, let's get this one spy out of there. Let's go to Siam. There's science to be had here. We just stole a technology so we could get gunpowder for free. Gotta do it. That's kind of a no-brainer for me. All right, 70 gold. Boom. Upgrades all around, except for this guy, because I can't afford it. But we have two musket man. I feel slightly better uh, about this now. All right, so our next order of business, we are going after scientific theory. Uh, but we can sort of pick the order, but I would probably go with banking myself just for that, you know, um, delicious bank. I mean, it's good money. Chemistry could also be good for a bit of production, but let's just start with banking and just see, you know, after it's done, let's see what the, the next best option would be. Because I'm really not sure. All right, you're going to make it. You're going to make it, Assyria. Don't die on me, buddy. Wait, why is he gray? I should be able to see this area. Because I have an embassy here. Unless he's already dead. Uh, but he's not, so I'm not really... Oh, we don't... It's because of, I had a spy. That makes sense. All right, let's get this academy going. That's going to be a nice little boost to science there. Uh, all right, sure. York, food-wise, again, kind of sucks. All right, go with this, then. Let's try and fix this a little bit. Florence is looking for a great writer, and they're probably not going to get one until... All right, 30 turns. It'll be a while. All right, you're good. At least money-wise, we're doing better. And we just got to wait for this deal to end. Uh, 183, so it's going to be 11 more turns before we can get our money back. And it does seem like we have basically murdered Assyria. I haven't, I didn't do it myself, but you know, I gave the order to do it. So I'm basically Hitler. If you're defending me, then you're defending Hitler. Just think about that for a second. I'm so sorry. You were a good friend. I had to do it. It was my only choice. All right. Do that. All right. And sure. That's just a good tile. That's some good science. And we need good science. Um, all right. So at this point, I'm still not really sure. Uh, I think we should probably get more longbowmen or something. We're just a musket man, not a longbowman. We need more ranged units. We don't have too many. We have a good amount. We have like five. Having more is always better. When it comes to this. It doesn't apply to everything. It doesn't apply to things like debt. STDs. Stab wounds. But in this case, it does apply. So let's get... Let's get some more troops. Protecting Zanzibar. I don't care. It's not like I was going to attack them. Alright. Number four in science. We caught up to somebody here. All right, upgrade for you. So we've got three musket man, two pikemen. The pikemen obviously suck, and their next upgrade would be, uh, let's see, Lancer. And I absolutely hate Lancers, but yeah. All right, Ragusa. All right, so from now on, we can sort of save up a little bit again until we can uh, bribe more people. Workshop in Nottingham. It's kind of a no-brainer again. Uh, Coliseum, Amphitheater. Alright, we have some more room now. Forge, uh, extra, okay. It's not even that good. The 15% production to land units, I guess, is decent, but doesn't really seem like something that I necessarily need. And getting, let's see, barracks. Amphitheater. Alright, I'm not really sure. This is okay. So many options here. God. Uh, not another worker. I do want to get the um, Circus Maximus, but 
at the same time, I feel like our culture... You know what? Our culture is bad. Let's just get an extra amphitheater so that when we get more writing, which we will eventually... Uh, we're a bit early on this because it'll take us, like, what, 30 turns to get a rider? But once we get one, at least we can store that riding. Uh, so, you know, let's do this. Okay. That's better. That's better, Nottingham. All right, this city is, is shaping up to be really nice because we have a lot of spots right next to the river. So this city might not be bad yet. It's actually, like I said, when we settle this spot, it's a good, it's a really good spot for a city. And I do intend to take full advantage of it. Uh, especially growth-wise, you're good, but we need that workshop to really uh, compensate for the lack of any, okay, most progressive person. It's not me. Plotting against Remses. All right. I don't want to tell him about it, but he's not the number one player, so I'm going to share this intrigue. Globe Theater. What? Uh, let me get this straight. Globe Theater. Wait, where is the Globe Theater? I thought it was around here. That's Broadway. It's sort of in this area, isn't it? Or is it earlier? I don't remember. Oh, right. There it is. All right. So it's not a big deal, actually, that he's making the Globe Theater. All right, cool. So because we got two harbors, we are making a lot more money. We have a city connection going, and that's great. All right, looking good. All right, that's another extra little farm. That's good for York. Uh, all right, let's get more farms. I want to hook up York to Nottingham, but... All right, I'll have this guy do it. Because that's going to make it so much easier to transport units. And, yeah, we really do need that. All right, there we go. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed. In the next part, we will see our best buddy die a horrible, painful death. And hopefully we can get some more city state allies. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later.